Yow, man! Welcome to the Frick Cast and to the Cyanlotic Red Light Therapy Hat Guide. That's right, we're doing something a bit different today, boys, but something I think many of you may be interested in hearing about a hat. But this isn't just any ordinary snapback. No, it's full of LED red lights that, among many things, is meant to relieve migraines, improve scalp health, relax your brain, and even stimulate hair growth. Now, all of that may sound a bit nonsensical to you and too good to be true, but here a frick out. I think you might be surprised. In today's video, I will go over my own personal experience with the red light hat, giving an honest review of how I felt while and after using it for over a month, as well as give an overall guide to how this bad boy works, and briefly touch on red light therapy in general. Before we begin, I'd like to thank Cyanlotic for reaching out and sending me the SciVive Hair Plus Pro for the review. You mains likely noticed that I don't typically do collabs or sponsorships, and a big part of that is because I only want to promote products that I have a genuine interest in, and that I feel you all may like hearing about. And if at any point you do decide to check this out for yourself, be sure to use my link in the description, or use my code FRICKCAST10 to save 10%. Now before this, I had not really ever heard of red light therapy, but upon my investigation into it and its related products, my curiosity was certainly piqued. So first off, what is red light therapy? Red light therapy is a treatment technique that involves low levels of red light and near infrared light. The wavelengths penetrate skin, reaching and stimulating the mitochondria. And no, I'm not going to say it. Fine, the powerhouse of the cell. In short, this may improve the functioning and rejuvenation of cells, leading to a frick ton of benefits. Now that's a very broad overview of red light therapy. There's way more to it than that, but it's only a bit heavy into the science for my liking. I'm no expert on this matter, so I'd encourage you to not just take my word for it and to do your own research. And if you are interested in learning more, I have left some links in the description. Now red light therapy has recently seen quite the boost in popularity, and that's due to its boasting of pretty impressive results. There are many potential benefits of red light therapy treatment, including stimulating collagen production, blood circulation, increasing energy, improving sleep quality, healing wounds, reducing scars, improving complexion, reducing wrinkles, pain relief, tissue repair, reducing inflammation, and even boosting hair growth. Skin, muscles, hair, it can all see potential benefits. Now I think one of the biggest concerns one may have about red light therapy is that it can kind of be intense looking. However, it turns out it's generally a very safe form of treatment. Of course, everyone is different, and if you have concerns, talk to your doctor, but typically, red light therapy is quite safe. I'll speak more on my experience in a bit, but I've never experienced any negative side effects from wearing the hat. It's never been too hot or irritating, it's much more mild than it might look at first. Near infrared light isn't like ultraviolet or UV light, where it damages cells, instead it repairs and stimulates growth. Red light therapy is a relatively new trend, but all of the studies so far have shown really positive results. I was quite surprised, to be honest, by how everyone online was raving about it. Now, red light therapy can come in many forms, such as panels to cover most of your body, or facial masks, but we will of course be focusing on the hat today from Cyanlotic. So how does all of that apply to our humble hat here? Well essentially it benefits scalp health and boosts mood. The waves of light penetrate deep and stimulate blood circulation on the scalp, relieving irritation, boosting hair growth, and helping you to relax. There's several major functions or benefits of the hat, one being migraine relief. I'm not someone who really gets major migraines or anything like that, but I have tested it out when I did have a headache, and I did find it to somewhat help. We'll talk about the different modes in a bit, but the breathing mode I found especially beneficial here, as it relieves pressure, improves blood circulation, and is relaxing. Relaxation in general is another major benefit of the hat, probably the one I honestly noticed the most and personally benefited from. I did find using the hat to be pretty relaxing. Once you give it a try for a little while, you really start to enjoy using it, at least in my experience. Not only did I find it to be relaxing, I found it to help me focus as well, as it's also meant to improve cognitive function. Scalp care is another one of the main benefits. It can help increase blood flow and circulation, relieving irritation and reducing dandruff. It can also help balance oil production. 
really any scalp issues you may have, they may see some benefit from the treatment. And in turn, this may lead to healthier, fuller hair. And speaking of that, perhaps the most major selling point here is the potential to help regrow hair and prevent hair loss. Now I'm thankfully not someone who really suffers from hair loss or thinning hair, so I can't really speak on my experience on how the hat helps in that regard, but many do claim to see improvements. By stimulating the scalp, the light may help to promote the growth of thicker hair, as a healthy scalp is crucial for healthy hair. Now, while researching red light therapy, I did come across an interesting piece of information. Women who were using a red light face mask were complaining of growing beards, as I guess hair growth on their existing facial hair was being stimulated. Now, that sucks for them, but for our purposes of a hat that is meant to help hair growth, I thought that was promising. Now that we've looked at red light therapy and the potential benefits, let's turn our attention to the hat itself. First off, the hat is very comfortable. It's soft, flexible, and surprisingly light. It is adjustable in the back as well, so it can fit anyone. It's actually pretty large. It even fits my big ass head with room to spare. So comfort and size are not issues here. Now the hat may not be the most stylish thing out there. You're probably not going to be wearing this out and about, more so at your home or office. But you at least don't look completely ridiculous while wearing this. It's very casual looking and comes in two colors, black and also khaki. I do like the look of it because some of the other options out there look like they're a part of some psychological experiment or something. This one though, casual and comfortable. Now all the buttons and everything may look a bit confusing at first, but it's all extremely simple and I thought we'd just walk through it together with the aid of our trusty manual that of course comes in the box. So for getting started, this hat delivers medical grade radiance via red light, which is 660 nanometers, and infrared light, which is 850 nanometers and invisible. It's recommended to use the hat in 30 minute sessions three to four times per week. However, if you are new to red light therapy, it's best to start with a five minute treatment and slowly work up to 10 minute sessions over two weeks. This will help your body adjust to the therapy. You may experience some positive results within days, but to see major improvements, it will generally take eight to 12 weeks of consistent use. And it's after a couple months that you will really start to reap the rewards of the treatments. Now I will be doing another review about a month or two after this one to speak on any more long-term benefits. So on the front of the hat are three things of note. One is the charger port that is in the middle. It has a light that indicates whether or not it's charged. The left side is a button that selects the mode. And then the right side is another button that controls the brightness level. So the intensity or how strong it is. Pressing this button also turns the hat on, and holding it for a second turns it off. So there are three levels of brightness. The blue is level 1, green is level 2, and red is level 3. You'll want to start at blue and then work your way up if needed. As for the different modes, there are four. The first is the normal mode, or RLT mode. This one's almost like a deep tissue massage of your scalp. It has red and infrared light working together to relieve headaches, improve sleep quality, relax the brain, and help hair growth by reaching deep cellular tissue. That's the mode I found myself using the most, but I also dabbled in the breathing mode as well. This one's much more gentle. It improves blood circulation, relaxes head muscles, and relieves pressure. This one's more ideal if you have a headache or something like that, or if you find the other two options to be a bit too intense. There's also the 10 Hz pulsed mode, which flashes 10 times a second, and is supposed to increase dopamine levels in the brain, as well as improve mood and cognitive function. And lastly, we have the 40 Hz pulsed mode that flashes 40 times a second. This one is said to stimulate the cerebral cortex, speed up treatment, facilitate photobiomodulation, and help hair growth. Now I'll get to my own personal experience using the hat for the past month or so, but before that, I wanted to briefly touch on everything that is included in the package. The box itself is pretty nice, it's spacious, and everything can definitely be stored in it. However, if you don't want to keep the box lying around, you do get a nice drawstring bag to house the hat and whatever else in. So that's a nice way to keep everything together, because you're not going to want to throw away the manual, as it covers just about everything you need to know. 
Thankfully, the hat does come with its own charger, both the head and the cord, which is convenient. You don't have to worry about finding one or anything like that. As for charging the hat, it will take about two hours to fully charge, with the battery lasting about an hour. If you're only doing 10-15 to 15 minute sessions, you could probably get away with charging it about once a week. But of course, if you're doing 30 minute sessions, that battery is going to drain much quicker. When doing the longer sessions, I had to charge it after every other use or so. The last thing you want is for it to die on you in the middle of a session. So now that we've covered all the basics and everything, I'd like to give my own personal experience with the hat. I've used it for a little over a month now, but as recommended, at first I slowly eased myself into it. I began by using the normal mode on the lowest brightness setting, and having sessions of about 10 to 15 minutes. After about a week or two, those sessions were up to 20 minutes, and I started mixing in other modes and upping the intensity. Currently I use it for about 30 minutes, and mostly use the normal mode at the second brightness level. That's what I found worked best for me. I haven't tried the highest brightness level as much, or the pulse modes, but I will start doing that and seeing how it is, and I'll make note of it for the follow-up video. For now at least, the normal RLT mode is my overall favorite that I noticed the most benefit from. The breathable mode was one I used a bit as well, especially if I had a headache or something, or I found the red light to be a bit intense. The RLT light isn't hot or anything, but it can feel a bit warm after a longer session, so having the more breathable option is nice to have at times. Now many people may prefer to use this in the morning, but I ended up using it mostly in the evening. I found it to really help me relax and focus when I've maybe hit a wall and I'm just trying to finish up that last bit of work on a project. When procrastinating or having trouble concentrating, using the hat actually helped me to refocus and efficiently work. And that really applies to everything when it comes to being productive. Whether I was working on a video, a project for work, or just doing stuff around the house, it was very convenient just to pop this on and try to get stuff done. To me, that's the main benefit I have received using the hat. I often find it hard to focus, and my evening sessions with the hat have helped me to somewhat improve that. It's not going to completely fix procrastination or a lack of concentration, but once you get in a good routine with it, it can help a surprising amount, especially when you're trying to get into a productive rhythm that keeps going even after you take the hat off, as I did find it gave me a small boost of energy as well. As for sleep quality, I wouldn't say I've noticed a huge difference, but I do feel it has somewhat helped. I often do have trouble falling asleep, and I can't really say that has changed on nights wearing the hat. However, I would say that I do feel slightly more well rested on the sleep that I do get. I don't think I'm quite as groggy in the morning. I'm not sure if that's directly related to the hat or not, but I thought I'd mention it. As for the hair and scalp related benefits, I again can't really speak too much on those. For the hair growth, it does say to really start seeing major improvements, it may take a few months. For the scalp benefits, I can say a little bit about those. I don't typically have any scalp issues or anything like that. I don't deal with dryness, irritation, or dandruff, so I probably won't see as many positive results as someone else. However, I would say that my scalp just feels healthier and cleaner in general. When it comes time to shower, even if it's been over 24 hours, Hours, my hair and scalp really don't feel dirty at all. Overall, I did find myself enjoying using the hat, especially towards the end, and more so than I had initially anticipated. If you are someone who is struggling with any sort of scalp issues, have trouble focusing, or are looking for a potential hair treatment option, I'd look into maybe giving this a try. It's not the cheapest, but in my opinion it is worth checking out if it sounds like something that could benefit you. And if you are interested in nabbing one of these for yourself, Zion Lodic has given me an exclusive discount code to share with you mains to help ease the cost. CV you 10% off your purchase. Just use the code FRICKCAST10 or click the link in the description. If you are interested in hearing about some of the more long-term benefits, stay tuned because in about two months from this video's posting, I will be uploading a follow-up three-month review to see if I can experience any more positive results. Again, thank you to Cyan Lodic for reaching out and giving me the discount to forward to anyone interested. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. But that's going to do it for today, mains. Until next time, Frick Nation, stay nifty. Yeah, man!